Okay, so I've set my 5 volt generator back up. So here's the gear motor. And here's the 5 volt regulator and capacitive packs. So I wanted to see if I could actually charge my phone using this setup. So I got a female USB and then I just got the phone's USB cable. And I'm going to plug this into the 5 volt rail and plug this in. And it comes up with an error saying the charging source cannot be connected to this phone and charge it properly. So that's annoying. So I got another cable. This one came off of a car charger for the phone. And if I hook this into the circuit, hopefully you can see that battery bar there is showing that it's charging. It has that little lightning bolt symbol. And the reason why this cable works and not the USB cable is because when I opened this up, there were several components attached to the data line. Uh, there are two data lines, so one's for the positive signal, the other is for the negative signal, so they complement one another. And there were some components attached to those and to the ground in VCC. And that tells the phone, I'm assuming, that it's allowed to use this cable to charge the phone. The USB is just for conductors going back to the computer. And I assume a computer is able to tell the phone that it's allowed to use this cable to charge the phone. And also, when you use one of the BlackBerry USB chargers, it will inform the phone that it's allowed to use that as well using some form of uh, component array within the charger. Anyway, there you go.